Hey everybody, I'm here to play some video games. Uh, you might notice my background is different, I'm in a new location. Uh, but this is just temporary, I'll be back eventually. For now, we're going to play some Antichamber, which is a freaking trippy game uh, from the little bit that I have played of it. And I'm excited to get back into it and do some more. Because it's it's been quite a while since I've touched this game. And I remember having a lot of fun with it the little bit that I did do. So, I'm actually going to start this. So, I don't know what happens at the end of this timer, but it seems like there's an hour and a half timer from when you start the game. Uh, so, I figured I'd do my intro and then I'd, I'd delete my save game and restart so that I have the full hour and a half. And I guess I'll give us a quick a quick overview of what we start off with. So, we get this little image of a baby and this so this wall from what i understand there are different checkpoints that each have like little a little image and a little like inspirational message along with it so the the very first one you get is this little little baby with the message every journey is a series of choices the first is to begin the journey uh then we see on the other side of this glass two doors and an exit and then we get a choose your destination uh, so that's what that's all that we get to start out with. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna restart so I get those extra two minutes back, and we're just gonna jump right into it. All right, so we're gonna start by going here. So there's a pit here. They want us to jump, so we're gonna jump, and we don't have the distance, but we land down here. You know. Failing to succeed does not mean failing to progress. Red. Yes, I've returned. Playing some real trippy puzzle game. Uh this is this is probably one of the one of the more mind breaky puzzle games that I've played in a while. So we have we have a path down this way. We can explore. We've got this this very nice light path leading us where we want to go. Got an image. Some paths are clearer than others. Very true. All right, so we have blue stairs leading up, red stairs leading down. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with blue, because you can't. You can never go wrong by going right. A choice may be as simple as going right or left. Well, we're still we're still gonna keep doing the right thing. How's, how's your day going, Dark? So maybe maybe right isn't the way to go if it keeps looping us around. What about left? Where does left bring us? The choice doesn't matter if the outcome is the same. Well, at that point, why don't we just go back to a new path? Not bad, just playing magic? Nice. When you return to where you have been, things aren't always as remembered. So a lot of the game is going to play with this concept of they give you what what seems to be a clear choice, but sometimes you got to do something weird and unexpected in order to get with it. And then we've got this very non-linear pathing going on, very non-Euclidean geometry. Got these lasers that can open and shut doors when we make contact with them. Each one will only open or only close a door, from my understanding. Some choices leave us running around a lot without really getting anywhere. And this art is a hint. Uh, we're we're currently trapped in this spot with nowhere to go. So we hit escape, and it brings us back to the main room. And we get a new message. If you don't like where you've ended up, try doing something else. So this entire wall, if, if I can find every path in the hour and a half that it's given me, this entire wall will be filled with art. So this is where the game shows you your, your progress. So you see we have another path branching off of where we started. We have another path branching off of there, so on and so forth. So we're going to head back. And now instead of jump, 
The text over the pit says walk. This already looks so wild you couldn't handle playing this. Hey, that's why I'm here, baby. So yeah, the text above the pit has changed from jump to walk. And Chris, I don't know what point you got here at, but uh, originally they tried to get us to jump the pit and we just fell in. But now if we walk, the game creates a floor under us so we can just walk across to the other side. Taking the first step can be harder than the rest of the challenge. You know, I'm gonna go to the right, see if anything weird is over here. Oh yes, we can just walk straight through this wall. A dead end will only stop you if you don't try to move through it. Now we have a message saying fly, which we can't. We fall down when there's nothing there to support us. Fitting. So now we have two paths. We have this path, which we can't get to because there's green blocks in the way. And we have this path, which we do have a laser to open the door if we walk through it. But only if we go fast enough. The door only stays up while we're touching the laser. So we managed to catch it, got through before it fell, but we have no way back. The path of least resistance is a valid option. And with that, we continue forward. So we have we have a path up here in which these balls move faster the, the further we walk at once. And we have a laser here, which will open that door on the left. Whereas if we touch the lasers again, it closes that door. For now, we're gonna head the way that the the reckless path. Some paths are straightforward. So this is another mechanic that's fun. Is these platforms that will yeet you further and further the higher you jump. But they can only send me up to the ceiling and I can't get down much further. So for now, my only path is this way. Life has a way of pushing us in the right direction. And now we're, at a, now we're at a new spot. We've turned around and the area around us has changed yet again. So this is actually where we originally fell. You can kind of see the text up there. It's tough to read it, but it says walk. So that's the path that we took at the very beginning of this run. But now we can walk across this pit and around this wall in the center. And we end up here. How we perceive a problem can change every time we see it. So we have three paths. We have this, this strange symbol, that door that closes every time we look at it, and a uh, L-I-F-E. We, we have a clock ticking down life. Also, this is a friggin' cool little museum of items where every perspective is, is something different within the boxes. And sometimes it's a brand new path. Although I think it's only the one that is a new path. Is that Professor X and Magneto? Just a thought. So we're gonna take this we're gonna take this new path, see what we got. When you absorb your surroundings, you may notice things that you didn't see before. Got this path here. That way takes us back to where we were. This is this is a real trippy uh circular area. So we follow the blue path and the green path is behind us now. Follow the blue path again. Every time we follow blue, it just leads us back to where we were. If we take green and head back, so we need to follow green every time. Except you need to follow the right green every time, you know?
Imagine knowing which way to go. Couldn't be me. Oh. This seems right. If you never stop trying, you will get there eventually. Alright. We go left or right. I'm going to go right, because again, you can never go wrong by going right. Some choices can leave us running around in circles. Oh, what if we go back? What if we just keep going in circles? We've returned. Raw persistence may be the only option, other than giving up entirely. So now we're back at this same intersection, with the eye and the door that shuts when we look at it, and the, the life ticker. And behind us is the path that we still, we still can go back that old path, but I don't think that's the way to go. We do have an arrow pointing us to the right, though. So this door closes every time we look at it, right? So what if we back up? A few steps backwards may help you keep moving forwards. And then we get another fun new mechanic. These strange walls that give us a hint of something on the other side, but we, we, can't, we can't quite get through, you know? It's, it's in the way. Except, now we're there. A window of opportunity can lead to new places, if you're willing to take a closer look. Now we can see some strange dark cube going that way. But we also see something a little funky over there. We got a gun. So we'll follow this path for a sec. As things get darker and darker. Now, one thing that's here is these, these white circles are an easy way to, to see our way back, but they're also an indicator of as long as you stay facing away from them, or moving away from them, you're going in the right direction. So we continue to back up along here, even in a pitch dark room. We know exactly where we're going because we can center ourselves by these circles. And we're back. Look a little harder and you will find a way forward. Now this brings us back here. Now you see this circle. We still have room to back up here. Have I played this before? I've played I've played up to a certain point, but there are there are puzzles that I haven't done. I I, I wanted to replay from the start. Um I'm kind of I'm kind of powering through some of the stuff that I'm very familiar with because I've started this game probably like a dozen times and gotten to a certain point and then and then kind of just never actually went all the way and finished it. So that's kind of what I want to try and do tonight. So this circle, we still have room to back up here. And we know if we if we follow the circle or go away from the circle, there's always more path until we hit a wall. And we can continue backing away. Until we get somewhere new. Venturing into the unknown can lead to great rewards. Hold on. I don't want to shut this door behind me yet. Does this back me up into... Yes, it does. We've earned the gun. Try hard enough and you'll get where you want to be. So this is a new mechanic, where we can now suck up blue cubes and place them wherever we want. So this door is going to fall, unless we're standing inside the laser, or unless something's blocking it from falling. In which case we're set.
Now this door... Unfortunately, we can't block the door and the laser at the same time. Or can we? I imagine there's somebody that would be fast enough to take the block away and place it before the door falls all the way, but I'm definitely not that person. Some doors will close unless we hold them open. So we take a cube and we've now locked ourselves in. We can reopen it for ourselves, but we need to move forward. Now, we can do a little bit of chaining here to get our third cube back because we want all the cubes. Oh yes, we do have... We, we can carry as many cubes as there are in existence. So there's no concern about uh, running out, as long as we don't pass through anything that deletes them for us. It's harder to progress if you're leaving things behind. That's the lesson. So we can get out of here with two, but we do have to leave one behind. As far as I know, there isn't any way to get that third one with you. Now next up here, there are multiple ways to approach a situation. Now, we do not have a third cube available to us, unfortunately. Hold up, there might be a way to get that third cube. Let me work with this for a sec. Oh no, because we have no way to get back. Well, the only place to go now is forward, I guess. And there's no way... Oh no. I have to, I have to bring my second cube with me. Just in case. Nope. Well, I'm trapped here. I've made a horrible mistake. So we go back to the main room. Some events happen whether we want them to or not. So we see that there's a continually branching path. So we're going to head back to the very start. We've tried jumping across the pit, which led us down there. We've tried walking across the pit, which led us over there. What if we go behind us? And just stare down this wall for a second. Blink, coward. And now that we've won the staring contest, we get to move on. Patience has its own rewards. leading us into a very trippy room in which we have to block all the lasers in order to progress. And we do want to take the cube back with us so that we can get through this door. There's nothing wrong with taking shortcuts. Oh. That one forced the door shut behind me. But we got a new gun. We now have Green Gun. Green Gun has this fun extra ability where if we hold it, we can suck up every cube that it touches. We can also draw, but we don't have enough 
We don't have enough cubage to make it all the way across right now. So what do we do? What if we draw a square out of the cubes? Possibly a bigger square. It'll fill itself in. We just need to be careful not to overdo it and accidentally delete all our cubes. Delicious. All right, so we've got a lot of cubes now. We could draw around this circle if we want. Kind of eat up this sphere here. New skills enable further progress. So it's nice. Unlocking the ability to create more cubes for ourselves as long as we have enough to make a, a square. Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to get through this yellow yet. Unless we can time a path through. No. That ain't happening. We could try in here. Mastering a skill requires practice. And we've made it to the exit door. With... An hour and nine and a half minutes to spare. Halfway through is halfway finished. The exit door is a lie. Some problems just come down to size. You can see here that we've... We've got a path ahead of us that we can get through. Though normally it blocks us off. We now have new paths to follow. Hold on. I need all of the cube gone, please. There we go. So now we can block off all the lasers and get through the door. There's no need to take apart what already works. So these these fields are mad unfortunate because they will they will delete all of our cubes. Which makes me quite sad. Now we have just enough cubes to make ourselves a generator. As we get more cubes, we can make our generator bigger. I don't know why it deletes the generator sometimes. It makes me big sad. We're going to continue to build up on this. Deleting the cubes is the worst thing you could do, game. Please do not. Alright, so that should be enough cubes for now. We can open up both doors. This path is to a new gun, so we're going to go for this first. When what you have is not enough, find ways to turn it into more. Now we have 
we have this, which is real annoying. I think this is the point where I quit most of my playthroughs. Because this gate has a number of blocks. At the end of each one is one of those lasers that needs to be unlocked for this door to open. And in order to... We, we need to figure out the right distance. Yeah, we need to figure out the right distance in order to have all of them unblocked at the same time to open up this door. It's real friggin' annoying. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight right there. Nine, ten, eleven. So that's eleven to the end of that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen to that one. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen to this one. And one, two, three, four, five. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh boy. So I'm going to try, well, I'm going to do a couple of things first. I know that these regenerate, so I'm just going to steal a bunch of cubes for a sec. So I want this one to have the most straightforward path. I want this one to have a bit, a bit more work to do. So this one goes out one, sorry, one, two, three, four, and then up two and back. I want this one to have a little bit extra to do as well. And I want this one to have some extra to do as well. Now if I Here's the secret just to eat them all at the same time. I can't even get them to go off at the same time. So if I, if I eat the square at the middle, they just break. I'm going to try this with little to no trust in the system. It was close. I don't know what sets it off. I don't know what uh, arrangement works best. But I do know I'm on somewhat the right track. Come on, let me through. Oh, why didn't it? 
Why didn't that do anything to that one? Come on. <sighs> I feel like there's got to be something easier for this. Because the timing is really precise, but also stupid annoying. And like my brain just doesn't work to like replicate what I've been trying to do the whole time. And obviously the whole thing is based around there being like a central block that they're all going to. And deleting the central block will open up the path for all of them. Okay. I just want this path to be long. And this one to be not super long, but like we'll add a little bit to it. Not there. Like there, maybe. Come on. The, uh, it, it's inconsistent and that's bothering me right now. So it seems like It seems like cutting off whatever the shorter end is, is what makes it go away. So I'm curious if I intentionally cut, like... There, 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 there. If I'm faster about it. <sighs> Even if I'm able to, like, get the door to open a little bit and then trap it, you know? It's very precise. Yeah, cause so actually opening the path is going to be a whole mess of a thing. I'm going to I'm going to try this other path for now. Figure that out maybe later. I wanted to go up these stairs. I'm going up these stairs. Okay, bye. I guess... I guess it wasn't really worth going up those stairs. Oh, there goes all my cubes again. Sometimes we only have just enough to get by.
similar problems can have entirely different solutions. I'm going to go up the wall. Easy peasy. Going a certain way may, may require building your own path. At that point, I'm curious. Nah, I guess not. All right, we have wall that blocks us here, but we can jump and make it go away, I guess. Interesting. Old skills are useful even after we've learned new ones. Like bouncing on platforms. Okay, we've made it we've made it here. We have a path behind us that we can get to. Normally that would require jumping, but I don't have time for that. What looks out of reach may only be a few steps away. All I want is to get through, okay. Connecting the pieces can solve a puzzle. What happens if I connect the pieces? Absolutely not a thing. Got it. I was in a weird loop. Deleting and rebuilding itself. All right, well, in here, I don't have access to anything, but I can push these cubes around, which means I can I can go places. Do I have? I don't seem to have any kind of crouch ability, so I'm not even sure I can go anywhere right now. Do I have any kind of crouch? No. I can make this jump, maybe. My goodness, the controls are so precise. Okay. All right, so we have infinite supply of cubes, as we so desire. Oh, especially considering it keeps recreating that external bit. That works for me. All right, so. Perfect. And on this side, same thing, same, same dealio. Loop around, make cubes. Steal a few more before I go, even though I can't use them. Solving a problem may require using abilities that we didn't realize we had. Except I did realize. Now we've been to blue already. We've come from red just now. We could let ourselves into green. The world looks different on the other side. I mean, yeah. I'll take all these cubes. I'll generate more cubes with them. Hopefully enough for what we wanted, but we'll see. Oh, that's mad unfortunate. making ourselves a few more cubes. There we go. Maybe now we can finish the puzzle here. And we can get through the 
door. I don't know why. Oh, you know what? That was originally supposed to be where we made the cubes from. But that's fine. We got all the cubes we need. When you have enough resources, you can start growing more. Okay, so now if we run fast, balls break here. But if we go slow, they don't. All right, so we can go in here. We don't have the ability to do anything with this yet. What if we go to this side? We have red. I fear we've screwed up this puzzle already. we may have not. We may have not screwed up the puzzle. Let's take all these cubes. Very similar to what we did before. Hold on, I want to test something. Okay, that doesn't work. It needs to be a full... A full... Thing. Hey, Jasper, how's it going? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Sorry if I was a little late on the uptake on that message. I'm trying to keep an eye on chat, but I'm also really getting caught up in these puzzles. I did some... I, I've done some of the early game stuff in this game before, but I'm getting into stuff that I haven't completed before, so my mind is, my mind is starting to fall apart a little bit. Okay, so we're going to draw this square. So those go through, and they make cubes that we can pull from the other side. And now that we can pull those, we can open up a gate for ourselves. Now if we take... There we go. Just as long as we can get one cube to touch, we can keep making more. We want to make sure we have a decent supply with us before we move on, because puzzles. You can grow a garden anywhere. I mean, yes. I fear I might not be able to grow a a garden here specifically though. At least not with the abilities I currently have. Yeah, because I'm not able to I'm not able to link. So that's unfortunate. I guess the game's pointing me this way. Dang. Okay, so I need to I need to make a path that I can get through here. Which side is shooting the lasers? Do I need to block both of them? I guess I need to block both. At which point I think I might need to do some some gardening. Because I need more, I need more cube in order to do what I wish to do. Hello? That was really weird that it kind of busted on me there. Okay, so we'll eat that up. 
now. I'm going to make a line along both sides. I'm going to go almost all the way up on both of the other sides. So now I can get through safely. And now I can take all my cubes back. Perfect. Getting to a solution requires cutting out what doesn't work. Like all those lasers. Oh, the black cube is going places. Oh, I know what to do here. We're going to need a lot of cubes for this. We're about to do an investigation on how many we need. More. Conveniently, there's the constantly regrowing wall of cube. Alright, so we're going to make... A little thing here. To hopefully work with us. Why is... Why is this the way that it is? Why did that one not go? Maybe if I connect it to the wall here. Because that, that wall will just delete itself, right? All right, come here. So connect this to the wall, so that when the wall gets deleted, now we can get through. One, two, three, four, five. The right decisions at the right time will get you where you want to go. We've made it to the yellow gun, which I don't know what the yellow gun does, honestly. Now we've reached the exit again. The further we explore, the more connected everything becomes. And we can see our wall of drawings getting much larger. Now we've reached halfway through our countdown timer. A little kind direction can get obstacles out of your way. If I middle mouse click, I can now do this fun little thing where I just tell the blocks to get the hell out of my way. And they'll do it. So it seems to pull from the farthest and build from the closest. So we're going to keep this whole thing going here. Oh, get that back in there. All right, so we have a path here. A problem may only be difficult when you're missing the right tools. I mean, that's, that's a solid piece of advice right there. Oh. Does this work through glass? I'm not sure it does. That's unfortunate. Oh, this is a door we've... This is a pathway we've already faced before, I think. Oh, this was the door that we couldn't do anything about yet. But now we can. Because now we can just tell the door to leave.
Some obstacles are more stubborn than others. Good point, good point. So we've, we've been through room one. This is room two. Understanding a problem requires filling in the pieces. Hold on. Out of the way. I should probably pull it from the top so it pulls from the... Yeah, if I pull from the top, it'll pull from the bottom right corner. With more experience, previous challenges aren't so difficult. Oh yeah, I mean, I can just send this whole damn thing that way. Same with that one, just get out of here. Oh, I can only pull from one at a time. Okay, that makes sense. So green path is open for me if I want it to be. I'm kind of curious what's behind red though, so I'm gonna tell the red to go all the way over there. What if I tell the red path to build down to here now, too? Oh, I can't... I can't control from there. Interesting. If you're missing information, it's easy to be misled. Oh, this just loops us back around to here. Okay, we haven't been down here yet. Also, yeah, that's a thing. Okay. We, we're still not going to go down there yet. Oh. Well, I guess that's a dead end. Rip. We're making good progress. Okay, so... Let me take a look here. Let's go with three paths in sight. So we've gone that way, we've gone this way. We haven't gone through the stair down door. So we're gonna do that. The solution to a problem may just require a more thorough look at it. So we have a spot we can fall down there and we have a bridge that goes away if we walk too fast. For now, we're gonna go down because it's easy to go down. Rushing through a problem won't always give the right results. I don't know why all the controls are stuck in this pit. But it also brings us back where we once were. This game is hella nonlinear and I'm loving it. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to follow that path, but I also want to I want to get over there. So what I want to do is keep taking blocks from here and building a path for myself across. Because who's going to stop me? No one. No one's going to stop me. That's who.
So this is where this is where shit gets kind of funky. Because I need to. There we go. That should do it. Perfect. Now, just just for the symmetry, I want that delicious. Splitting a problem up may help you find the answer. All right, so this is floor four. We skipped, we skipped three. Fly. Now we can't fly, of course. But what we can do is look at this. Oh yeah, we've already done that. We can just draw ourselves a path along the wall. Because we're adults, and we make our own decisions. Building a bridge can help you get over a problem. Can confirm, I just built a bridge, it helped me get over a problem. I don't... I don't know why I took those blocks, except now I do know why I took those blocks. We want... to devour as many blocks as we can. Because we can send blocks in there, we just can't carry them in there, you know? So, we're just going to take them with us. And now that we're over here, we're, we're free to use them. It's free real estate. There we go. We love free blocks. And we leave no block behind. The problem may not be where you're going, but how to get there. And again, we've skipped three, but we made it through four and up to five. Okay, so we can't bring blocks in there and we can't take them from there, right? Yeah, so they just demolish if they're in there. But now, now we can move this cube around within the area. Which means we now have the ability to get where we want to go. Which is a wonderful thing. Alright, so now we hop up here, up to here, and then we send the cube up. So that we can continue upwards ourselves. And we probably don't need it here, but we can jump. And it's not going to come out with us. Uh, here we've got cubes. That I want to build into a little square, hopefully. Uh, hmm. Okay, so this is going to be a whole thing, I can tell. I'm going to pull that from there. I just want this path not connected anymore, please. There we go, okay. Please. Okay. Ah, this is... This is stubborn. And I'm not sure how I feel about it all, you know?
So I can make... I can make a cube out of it, somewhat. But I can't make it... I can't make it fully connect the cube and create more in its place. And I can't shoot more cubes into that area, it doesn't seem. Oh, unless that central area works, sure. So we're gonna we're gonna do it again. And that should make enough cubes to hopefully cover everything. Or at least to make the big central cube. Oh, we're just barely not there, that's unfortunate. Now we should have enough. Hey, baby, we got it. Old solutions can apply to new problems. All right, we've made it to floor six. Oh, is seven the top? I don't see anything above seven. Hmm. Dig a little deeper and you may find something new. Okay, so we have the WTF box that we probably can't do anything with. The hmm box. Okay, we are able to send blocks in. Okay. So I just wanna I just wanna lay out a shit ton of cubes here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell them go that away. I want I want the hmm to connect and also join with that. The, the plan is we're going to take as many cubes as we can into here, connect all of these onto each other, we're going to make all of these join with the conglomerate, and we're going to send more along the path. and then join them on that path. Now down there I actually haven't gone yet, but I love how even the game is saying WTF. Yeah, really. So I haven't actually done this part of the game yet, I don't think. I don't think I got as far as the yellow gun. Sometimes you need to be carried. Oh, that's me in any competitive game ever. All right, so we're just gonna eat up all this yellow again. Oh, the yellow is staying. Oh, because part of it was the hmm text. That's actually delicious. We have infinite yellow. All right. So seven. Yeah, there's there's no eight that I can see. But there's a new gun over there. I'm curious. I need it. Weird, but I love it. Straightforward problems can often require roundabout solutions. Correct. Hey Sabrina, how's it going? Also, I I so yours yours and Dark's color in the chat are the same on my screen. So I didn't notice it was you for a little bit. I'm so sorry. Welcome to the party. I glanced over and I'm like, that's not Chris. Going good, but you are confused by the game? That's normal. If if you weren't confused by the game, I would be surprised. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. Oh, there's a hole in the floor now. Attention to detail can lead to very rewarding outcomes. Q 
Cube, I want to go where you're going. Send me through the floor. Up? Up? Okay, you know what? We're doing this. Okay. I'm gonna stand on... I'm gonna stand on this. We're going to the ceiling. Who else greets you with AO but me? I mean, I don't have a good explanation for the things that I do because I'm dumb, but... I just... I just tell you the truth. Why are... Come on, keep going up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so now that I'm up here, there's an X. Oh, oh, oh. Life is full of ups and downs. I mean, yeah. How do, uh, what do I, what do I do here though? Cause now that I'm, now that I'm here, I'm. Oh shit, hold on. Hold on. It, no. I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, floor one. Floor one has this, which is new. Okay, so I'm going to stare at this door until it blinks. Do it, coward. Wait, why is... Now it's a different path. Now I just need to get up there, because it's telling me to go that way now. So that's the thing about this game, is it keeps changing the path every time you look at it. Oh, <gasps> Guys, we got to it. No matter how high you climb, there's always more to achieve. Buster check. All right. Thanks, girl. Much appreciated. Okay, we're going to break that. Move the path away. Ooh, hold on. I, I can reconnect that and do better. All right. That's perfect. That is exactly what we like to see. Please? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Why are you like that game? Why are you like that? Okay, we're going to make... We're going to make more cubes. We're gonna make enough cubes that we won't know what to do with ourselves with all these cubes. We've developed a cube breeding ground, Sabrina, just so just so you know. It's very important. Didn't know cubes needed human assistance to breed. What, you think cubes are just gonna make themselves? Nah. Cubes are notoriously bad at breeding when not in captivity. This part of the game is real annoying because of that shit.
Like I just I just need it to not do that. Hold on. I have an alternative solution. We're gonna make We're gonna try and make a cutoff. We're gonna cut that off. Okay, so we have enough to get that over there. Shit. It's still too many. Because that still connects. I mean, really, our other option is just to keep doing the whole breeding thing until we don't have to worry about how many there are. Which is a really annoying solution. Yeah, they're like cubes are like pandas in in exactly that way. Oh, finally. Okay. We got the red gun. There comes a time when you can work your way through anything. Oh, we can just slurp them all up. Delicious. The further we get, the less help we need. Oh, that's so handy. Hell yeah. We've got the exit. Getting to the end requires tying off the loose ends. Oh, we've got 20 minutes left. How are we going to do this? Um, okay, we can do... We can do this. Can we do this? Is this a thing we can do? Okay, hold on. Where do we need to pull from? We need to pull from there. Hey, idiot, get over there. That doesn't help anyone. I can't reach that. That's just unhelpful. How how can I how can I reset this? How do I how do I go back? I was here. Yes, yeah, so we got that one. If we go to this side, we got this one. Oh, just the wrong angle. Hold on. If we get if we make it move one less block, we got that. So from there to like here, and we can take that, take that, bring it down there, and we got one. And we suck them all up, place it there, and we can move on. We're going to take that cube with us, just so we don't lose it. The best solutions may still be the most primitive ones. Like walking across the pit? Nope. Falling down teaches us how to get up and try again. Huh. How best to... Oh, right, you know what? Oh, no, because I can't do that. That definitely doesn't work. Um, cause I, so I can't shoot cubes into that. What can I do? I I'm I honestly don't know what the solution to this one is, but it's gotta be something, you know? Oh I could I could build a path for myself. Hold on. 
I want this to come out one, right? Then I want it to go right back on up. You can't do everything yourself. Try me. This is new. Okay, now we're on the yellow side. Now we're back on the blue side. Question is, the heck am I doing here? Oh, invisible wall, okay. That messes with my eyes a fair amount. Oh, this way, and this way, and then that way brings us right on back. Hold on, there's gotta be something. If we go straight along this way, and then to the right, and to the right again, Oh, we got to the black. We go in here. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. So I see there's like a pit or something there. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so back away from the circle, like we did in the last puzzle, and we're in the blue. Follow the green. This is, so this is all new stuff to me. I've played part of this game before, but not this part. Okay, I can't... I can't jump that. But I also can't walk it, you know? Hello? Green? What do we have in here? That's just a long path to the same thing. Interesting. Okay, we know we fell down into red, we followed the circle out, and we got to the blue. Follow the blue to the green. We can follow that long green hallway, but it just takes us back out here. And we know that this path is currently inaccessible for reasons. There has to be something. What happens if we back up through this? I'm curious. Anything? Like we, we give up, but we don't look at where we're giving up? I don't know, man, this game is very confusing. I know there's a time limit that I'm getting close to hitting. I'm missing something crucial here, I think. Uh I can't even... Is there anything I can do with these? What if I just stay in here? This path doesn't hurt me. This path has never betrayed me.
We got 11 minutes left on the timer. We've made good progress, but we haven't finished the game. Oh. Oh, that's the end. We can't... We don't have the ability to do anything with this yet. Very easy to know where the end is. What's down here? Oh, this is the path we've already been... I don't think there's anything new along there. Let me let me look. Hold on. So I jumped too far. We know that the end is there. What's the timer? Uh, when I started the game, there was a countdown timer that started at one hour and 30 minutes. Uh, that timer has been counting down this whole time, and I don't know what happens when we hit zero. I just know that it's been counting down since we started. Okay, laying the foundation is a path that we've taken before. You have no resources, you can start going more. Okay, so this is the way we came in before. We've gone that way, we've gone that way. Have we actually taken this door to the exit? Oh no, because that's another way we came in once. There are two entrances to this room. I'm just gonna take all of these. Munch, munch, munch. We're gonna take this path for a sec. Yeah, you can grow a garden anywhere. Okay, so we've taken this path. This is a new path that we have not taken yet. Oh, yes, because we couldn't take this path before because the game said, fuck you, Damien. All right, so we want that to cover up here. Oh, you know what? We'll make this easy for ourselves. It's going to make more cubes, you know? There we go. Pathway open. Life's good. We're going to block the door off and we're going to take all of these cubes back. And we're going to do the same thing as before, where we just lay out as many of the cubes as we can. And we're going to make a bridge for ourselves. What does this say? The world is always finding new ways to surprise us. That's, that's very wholesome. We'll just slurp all these cubes back up so we don't lose them all. And we've got this. Okay, so we can't shoot cubes into there. Oh. Oh. I, I get what they're going for now. So I made a bunch of extra cubes by placing them in there. Oh, no, 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 not quite, not quite. Not what I was aiming for, mind you. Okay, so now we'll finish this off. And that doesn't really do anything for us. Oh, no. No, no, stop. 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 Okay, well, it's not stopping. I thought I had the idea. I'm pretty sure I still do, but I just was doing it wrong, you know?
So if we if we do that, we can still control the cubes, I think. Oh no, because we can only send them to the outside. Dang. Oh, there's gotta be something. I'm not smart. Maybe this is something we can't do yet? Because we can't send we can't send cubes from outside to inside. We can only build them up in these little fortresses. Yeah, and, and we can't... I can't control their actions inside the area, unfortunately. As much as I wish I could, my beam only seems to not connect there at all. Yes, I am smart. I, I don't know. Sometimes I don't feel that way. Okay, I'm just gonna make a shit ton of cubes in there in case I need them. Oh, yeah, love to see it. And then I'm gonna drop into the abyss. Okay, I haven't taken that path yet. So we're gonna do that. There are many paths I could take, but not many that I have the brains to take, you know? Yeet. Uh... I agree. I, I agree. How, how do I get to the other side? Uh Well, that's gone. Huh. Yeah, impossible paths bothers me. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to connect all of these to each other so that I have one big mass of blocks. I send them that way and then I want to try if I break that that works. Okay. Interesting. So if I send them this way and then eat that before it goes. I made it. Obscure problems may require unusual solutions. Okay, we've successfully WTF'd. Okay, I as far as I can tell I can't I can't jump over these. They catch me no matter what I do. So I'm going in here. Whoa. Bonjour. With more experience, previous challenges aren't so di uh I was I was right here. Okay. Oh previous experience sucking up all that shit. That path wouldn't have been possible without that ability. Hell yeah. When you look beyond the surface, there may be more to find. Oh, with with this with this shit again. Okay, so that's that's a gun pedestal that I can't do anything with because there's no gun there. How am I supposed to gun? Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. 
Nothing that I can seemingly do here, unfortunately. How about this way? Nothing that I can do there. There's so much going on here. So little brain power. I mean, I made it here, but what does that get me? <gasps> okay, I made it to orange. I look down, I fall into green, and I'm in pink. But if I make it, hold on, if I make it to pink, oh, blue, pink, blue. Oh goodness, I think I've made a horrible mistake. I think I made a horrible mistake. I glitched through the floor. I was in the right general location. Okay, so I back up into here. I'm in blue. I'm stuck in blue, but I can come out. I can walk around here, fall into blue onto green. Once I'm in green, jump up, and I'm in red, fall into purple, go around, and hit that, which brings me up into orange. Look through there, and I fall, I become pink. I want to be in blue. I'm pretty sure. No, because blue just makes me fall. What happens if I'm in pink? What if I want to be in pink? Let me stay... Okay, so that just gets me stuck again. That doesn't do me any good. Oh. Time remaining zero zero zero. Live on your own watch, not someone else's. <laughs> so the countdown timer is just to unlock another one of the the life advice pieces. That's great. Okay, so the arrows send you to different places. Understood. Okay, so over the edge. If I go down from over the edge, I get down there, but I can't get across. I know that that's an, a path, that's a path, that's a path. Up there is something I, another thing I haven't done, I think. That timer was stressing me out. I wasn't I wasn't prepared for it to just be a motivational message. I was ready to like suffer, you know. Cool, didn't make the jump. Oh, do I need to use this cube to help me make the jump? Need to like. Nope. Maybe I'm just dumb, who knows? Okay. I jumped too far was the path to the actual end, I think. There's no way in was one of the paths. I could back up along this way. And I have that. That doesn't help me much. The end may come before we were ready to get there. Life isn't about getting to the end. Okay, this is this is new. At times you need to view the world from someone else's perspective. You've got this 
Countdown to motivation, activate. You've got this Damien, you're incredible. Hang in there, kitty. Insert cat hang from branch. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, so that was that. So I've I've explored all those paths. This I haven't though yet. Skinning a cat. Why is this area called skinning a cat? Okay, how... I need three for that. Hold on, I'm gonna go to the area before skinning a cat. Logic 101. We're gonna... We're gonna make sure we leave this area with three cubes, you know? I don't care about that. I need this, need that. Oh, that's, that's what I need. I need to block this door, take this cube back, take that cube back, take that cube back. Lock that, lock that, take it, take it. I want that, that. Okay, now I've got over here with all three. Perfect. So now there are two paths each into the same thing. Some outcomes are more favorable than others. That I can agree with. Okay, I have two there. Three there. What can I do with this? What can I do with this? I'm going to take these three for a sec. Go here. Follow along here. Block those two off. I can come here. And this is a whole ass, a whole, a whole new thing. One, two, three, four. I don't have four. I only have... Oh, I need... I need the cubes. Hold on. You and you. Come with me. Cake. The consequences of one choice can cut us off from making others. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, we've trapped ourselves. Shit. <coughs> okay, we're gonna try this again. So if we go from Logic 101 to Skinny a Cat to the final hurdle, that's kind of the path we have to take. There's so much to unpack with this game. I need to lock that, take that back. Okay. Lock that, take that back. Take that back, take that back. Unlock, lock, lock, unlock, place. Okay. It's a whole endeavor just to get us just to prepare for a single puzzle. Okay. 
Let me take a look at this here for a sec. We we don't need to come back this way, which means we can block that, which means that blocks that path. Okay, doing that shuts that off. You know what, we're going this way. We're gonna see what's up. A path may not be right or wrong, it may just be different. Well, this path, we can't go back now, no matter what. Don't look down. Okay, I think we're good. Signs may be helping you more than you realize. Some hurdles are too high to jump over. I feel like we're hitting some like early game puzzles here that uh, that I probably should have found earlier. And yet here we are. I can't believe they just did that to me. It's actually a little upsetting. Hold on. I'm going to I'm going to take these cubes with me. These these cubes are my pets now. Oh. I think I got it. Taking those cubes was a path to being able to do this with enough cubes to do what we needed to afterwards. Because we can block off every door that we need to block off and go back for that original cube. Now, just as long as we know that we're comfortable closing the doors behind us, We can actually properly continue on. Many small obstacles can make for one large problem. Ain't that a mood? Okay, these guys are coming with me again. And now that we're on the other side, I'll take them back. Okay, so we know we can open that. The world rarely changes when we watch to see it happen. Oh. Because of course, if you lose sight of what's important, it might not be there when you need it. Oh, we're back to the don't look down. In which case, we're going to look down this time. a very long fall. Too much curiosity can get the best of us. When you hit rock bottom, the only way is up. Okay, so this time, this time we're going to do our best not to fall in that pit. Because right there is where everything fell apart. We often fall into things when we least expect. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Comedy. Small steps can take you great distances. Because we didn't jump, so we got the staircase built underneath us. Where's this path take us? This path takes us back here. We have not taken the path to the left here yet. So we're going to very carefully walk, and we're good. Taking one path often means missing out on another.
And we're back to this. What else are we missing here? We've been through the weird museum of otherworldly things. Oh, oh, this is new. This is new. The cube. The cube that as long as we're watching it, it rolls. We found one of these earlier. I don't know what they do, but they're vibing. I can hear the clock ticking. Even though the time limit isn't a concern anymore, I still hear a clock ticking. The cube just be vibing. What will he do? Alright, and one more turn, and then he's almost out of here. After this whole path, he's just gonna go, you know, vibe in a corner. Bye, we'll miss you. Okay. Um, shit. What am I even doing here? Aside from my best. Okay, hidden behind glass. Just gonna eat this whole thing. Okay, so that's actually a path we've already taken. That one we haven't done yet. I'm gonna take these with us. Okay. So, what I want to do is that if you lead the way, others will follow. I'm going to make sure that I take all the cubes back, just to be safe. Alright, so this is the first time we've actually gotten to the three. We've seen ev every other floor. I was, I was struggling with something similar to that before, but I don't remember what. So we got up to five, six. Seven. I can just walk through these now. Okay, what what the heck path was I taking earlier? I've been through that and that just leads leads me back to leap of faith. Okay, learning to draw. This is one that I was missing something from. I don't remember what. Was it this? Oh yeah. Some tasks require a lot of care and observation. No, because I've already, already done that. Am I drunk? I might be drunk. Uh, 
There appears to be something that I am yet missing. Oh, I mean, I can just... Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. That was an incredibly concerning outcome. I'll just draw it manually, thanks. I've already been this way, I think. Yeah. Halfway through is halfway finished, blah 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 blah. Is that another gun? I want another gun. Oh. Oh, push this back. Elevator says goodbye. Or, I guess elevator says hello. Okay. Okay, I'm going to make a little bit of a snack there. All right. I'm going to send this all the way out there, and I'm going to get ready to catch that elevator. Oh, did that cancel it? No. No, that's illegal. Oh, just barely made it. Some challenges exist just to test how much we know. I mean, yeah, it feels that way. Okay. So, so guns. This is a this is a concept art room. Okay. This is interesting. I mean, this is, this is nice, this is very nice, but I, I was originally planning to come here and, and earn something. Although that is the end of that path, so that's nice. Okay, hitting a wall. So I know Yeah, if I look away that goes away. Damn. My brain my brain don't do any big thoughts. Okay, what's this way? Remind me me. Oh, this is this is new. I couldn't do this before. I couldn't take the whole path down or up, actually. Because I could only get to there before. But now that I've got this brand new much deeper hole. I could get up here. And I know my exit is right here. Oh, this is just the way I came in. I need 
I need this to... I need this to go as... Yeah, so that's about as far down as that's going to get. I need to see how far down I can bring this. So I can get bearing on my surroundings, you know? Up. And back down. And back up. Then back down. And back up. We love all the bouncing. This is definitely accurate to how real physics would work. Wait. It phased through my cube. That's bullshit. All that, all that work. All that hard work I put in there and it just, it just, it just didn't, you know? Okay, so being an entrepreneur, I can take those two. Shit. Being, yeah, being an entrepreneur, I can take those two, I can place them, and carry them over. And I'll pick them up here. I'll get those three. I need to see if there's anywhere forward that I can set these things. Or that I can pick up more and come no, because I'm not able to come back. That's the whole thing. Once I once I go through this path, there is no backtracking. One, two, three. Okay, so that's staying there. If I open this up and take another, I have one, two, three, four, five, six now. If I do this and look forward, I can take a cube from here, but I lose all the cubes from back there. which is a whole nother issue in itself. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna block this, I'm gonna steal all of these, and take this with me. All of these cubes are coming forward. I don't know if they'll all be helpful, but they're all gonna be here for sure. Right, I can't guide them from Why can't I guide them from in here? Oh, there we go. For a second, they were all just stuck in place. Okay. Now I can open that. Block that off. Steal this back. Steal that back. Open that up. That's... generally unhelpful. That wasn't where I wanted to be, but okay. Hold on. Connect this all together.
Come on. Okay. We're going to drag all of these over that way. Could have just done that way from the start. New skills enable further progress. That's not helpful either. Okay, so I've taken that path. I've taken this path for sure. I feel like this path did something that I was trying to remember what. Oh yeah, this was just stupid other path to the same thing. I don't know how to get to that path, but it's fine. Okay, many different angles had a whole thing that I was trying to investigate. A series of paths that I was trying to figure out but couldn't. Okay, so from within here, there are things I'm able to do. I need two cubes, one there and one there, but I don't know where to get the cubes. There's little to no hope for me. Okay, so I've made it into green. If I'm in green, I can go to red. Red makes me fall. Okay, this is the part where I got stuck before. Because I can get up to blue or down to pink, but neither one actually like locks me into the place. Sometimes we do things just to go along for the ride. Okay, so that's actually progress, I think. Oh. Oh. This is a map. Okay, so if you head in this, you come out here. If you Yeah, so this is this is an area that I was going through earlier. That's really cool. I don't know what that does for me here, but... I think that's a dead end. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try taking that same path, because this time for some reason it worked. This is a friggin' weird situation, you know? Okay, so we know that blue takes us here. If we jump this, we can't jump that. If we fall, we know that we can bounce back up from here. What does bouncing back up do for us? Bouncing back up does nothing for us. It just sends us here and we know that's a dead end. <sighs> what about laying the foundation? There's something we were missing here. Is that path a thing that we were missing? I guess we'll find out. In there. Out here, take that one just in case. You can grow a garden anywhere. I mean, we've already done that whole thing.
All I want to do is open this gate for myself. Please. There, down. Okay, gate is open. Give me everything. And that. Okay, yeah, that was the path to the like the impossible thing that we that I couldn't figure out before. Maybe I'll give it another crack just to be safe. I I doubt it'll work, but you never know. We've already taken that path down, so that part's not an option. Hold on. Hold, hold up. I almost killed myself here. There we go. Oh, I've made more for myself. Perfect. This game is so trippy, I do not know what or how to do. Oh. Oh. Why not get easy peasy like that, eh? We've pretty much got it, as soon as we get this wall done. Oh baby, alright. I'm gonna take as much of that as I can before it closes. Peeking behind the curtains lets us see how everything works. If I go around to the right, I see that. If I go around to the left, it's still the same thing, luckily enough. Oh, that's cool. We get to see how it renders each kind of block. And I can absorb them? So I can see what it looks like when they're... Oh, that's friggin' sweet. And and the way it optimizes it by, like, turning them into bigger blocks once they're reformed. So it's rendering less things at once. That's actually super cool. And then here... I can actually build my own thing and then see the wireframe of it. See how it all fills in and then and then doesn't transform into a bigger block for some reason. But we can make it into a bigger block as we go. You can see everything unpack as we do it. There it is, one big old block, and then I and then I devour it again. Okay, so at that point, that's another, is that another dead end? Yeah. We've almost got all the uh, art. Okay, next up. Heck. Okay, so I know a jump too far is what leads us to the grand finale that we can't do anything about right now. Because that's actually the end. And right now I have no way of affecting these blocks. So that one, that one's a no-go. Up here at impossible paths, maybe that's something. Oh, my only, my only thought from that is, if I fall down here... This brings me somewhere I've already been? What appears impossible may have a very simple answer.
Bring me back there. Take take me where where even was that? Where was Impossible Paths? Oh, did I? Oh, that was the end of that. Okay, interesting. Okay, one long corridor. There's got to be something I can do here, right? I back up. Oh. Oh, right. Those blocks go away when you jump. That's actually super smart. Cool. All right. The world is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Galaxy Brain Game still getting close. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we're getting near to the end of it all. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Snake. 2611-2006. Snake. All right, interesting. What if I fall onto this one? Do all of them just drop me into the same spot? Yeah, interesting. So I'm pretty close to the end of the game. I'm getting to see some behind-the-scenes stuff as I go, actually. If I go around to this side... Yeah, this is just the exit from an area I've already been. Yeah, so like this is the, uh, this is the wall of artwork that we've been unlocking. There's one... I don't think it features on this wall, actually, now that I'm looking around. Uh, but we got one when the timer ran out that just says live on your own watch, not someone else's. And we're getting close to reaching the end of all the branching paths, as you, as you can see here. I know that this one actually goes to the end of the game, and I'm just trying to figure out kind of the, the remaining ones at this point. Connecting the pieces is one that I'm struggling with right now. Oh, maybe maybe that's a thing here. Have we taken that path yet? Okay, so we've brought all the blocks with us. Go in here and in here. Look down this way. Okay, so this is actually a concern. So I know that that's a path that can be taken. And that's a very nice path. I like that path. The problem with that is... That path blocks us from creating or tracing paths of blocks, as far as I can tell. Which is a bit of a concern. I don't know how to walk anymore. I'm gonna take these back. I'm gonna build the rest of the path over here. I want to try taking it with me. I don't think it'll work, because I think this is the path that, like, yeets the blocks out if you try to... Oh, no, these pop... Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So they can go as long as they don't touch the edge of the pathway. Which means I'm going to send all my blocks in there, or a bunch of them anyway. Try to duplicate a bunch. So that I can keep as many as possible. Okay, and now I'm going to go in and, and lead them where they need to go. This is a whole ass thing. As long as the one in the front doesn't make it to the destination, I can send it wherever it needs to go. Alright, so now I can absorb them all, have all my cubes back, and we can open up this path.
That's that's big. Why is there like a tinge of yellow here? That's kind of weird. Okay, this is new. Peeking behind the curtains lets us see how everything works. Oh. I'm so confused. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's two. Okay, so I need one plus two equals three. How do I... How do I determine which is which? Because one plus four is five. That's That's true, but how do I... How do I use this to my advantage? Also, how, do, how does this does this do anything for me? No, that's just the end of a path. Weird. It made it seem like there was something to do there. Okay, Stairway to Heaven is a path that I still haven't explored everything from yet. I don't think I've gone to the bottom of this. I think I've expressly avoided going to the bottom of this. If you aren't paying attention, you will miss everything around you. Okay, this coming back, I don't know what that does. That's bad. So I'm going to block that in there. Oh, oh. Get past a problem, you may need to keep pushing through it. What's... I'm very confused. Getting where we want to be may require jumping through hoops. Throwing yourself into things can take you to new heights. I mean, that's that's what I'm doing. How do I get up there? How do I become tall? Okay, I want to cheese in it. Some challenges are far harder than they first appear. Oh, I need more cubes for this. Don't have it. Don't have. Don't have the cubage. A link to the past. I need, I need, I need more cubes. Luckily, there might be more cubes somewhere. Like down here? No, this, that's not the kind of cube I was looking for, but I'll take it. Okay, I think I need to go a little farther back in order to get that one. Stairway to heaven, where's the closest source of cube? Yeah, I really got ripped off there. It was mad unfortunate. But I also kind of brought it upon myself a little bit by getting my hopes up, you know? Okay, lots of cubes. That's what I get for cheesing the puzzle, though, honestly. Okay, now that I have the cubage... We 
you set up my positioning. I'm gonna make a bunch of extra cubes. So we never have to worry about our cube economy in this area ever again. And now we just take them with us. And now that we have them over here, we just suck them up. And we now have cubes on the other side. Okay, now, build ourselves out of this pit. And get this bad boy. Now we're on the other side of the box. Some choices are only useful when we make them early. Was this just another path to the yellow gun? Uh, just one moment. I have somebody knocking on my door. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Well, oh. oh, get get out of here, yellow. Nobody nobody wants you in the way. Moving through a problem slower may help find the solution. I don't think I've gone this path before. Or maybe I have. I've, I'm losing track of what I've done and what I haven't these days. Also, I've had the wrong audio source on. Wait, was I on the other side of the bridge that I just yoked myself off of earlier? Yeah, I was. Interesting. Okay. The heck am I doing here? Okay, jumping through hoops is a thing. If I take this way up normally, I end up here. If I jump, I can't get up there. Oh, apparently if I jump, I can get there. I'm very confused by this game today. All right, okay, so that. I'm just gonna let it normally eat me. Now I'm supposed to get up there, I think. This is only a little frustrating. Come on. Okay, that gets me up here, which is a new thing. What we've done before may impact what we can do next. I think I should have come into this with more cube. How do I get more cube coming into this? Hold on. I take the butterfly effect on the way in here. So butterfly effect only gives me one cube. Stairway to heaven. Stairway to heaven, I can get more cubes. We're 
gonna go there. How did I get to how how do I get to there from Stairway to Heaven? I'm trying to remember now. Is that the path below? I don't know that it is. Oh no, I think... I think it might be? I'm honestly not sure. Okay, this is... This is the path I want. Yeah. Weird. I don't know why it seemed like a different path to me. Okay, so from here we go up. Okay, now we can do this. We're just since we have the cubes to spare, we're just gonna block off everything. Oh, this whole time I could have done that. You know, that's a door that might shut. That's a door. That's a door. And that's a door. And we still have a ton of cubes to spare, baby. Okay, now we can open up that. If you're only focusing on right now, you won't have enough for later. Well, good thing I planned ahead and brought enough for later. Moving forwards may require making the most of what you've got. Okay. So that's a bunch more that we've just figured out. So that's like the entire right side sorted. We need to figure out what branches off of this, what branches off of that, what branches off of this. I need to bring cubes before doing hitting a wall, I think, because I need to be able to build something to block myself in. Oh, but I can't bring cubes if I'm on the other side of WTF. Because I can't bring cubes in... I can't bring cubes into one t into WTF or out of WTF. I just need there to be like a... I can't even- I can't even make a square with these. Huh. Oh. Oh, don't tell me. I think I might have it solved in like a really weird way. Like if this is actually the answer, I'm going to be friggin' amazed. Although this game does have some smart solutions. Yeah, that seems about right. I'm gonna double check. Okay. Now that I'm on the other side, I can just pull them all through. Why have I never thought of that before? How did I even get across before? Oh, I did the... I, like, made a path with the WTF by, like, standing on this ledge on my way through. Weird AF. Anyway, wall time.
Okay, I'm gonna eat that, pull these away. I want those two there. Put those three here. What can I even do about that, though? Because I, I can't add more to that. Because I need... I need all of those to be blocked in order to get the rest of it, you know? How... Or do they all just need to be un- oh, they all need to be unblocked. Is that it? In which case... Yeah, okay, so they all need to be unblocked. I think I need to I think I think I need to reverse what I was doing here. So I need I want one here and pull the rest away. I want I want one there. Pull the rest away. Put that in the in the corner. Delete that. Pull the rest away. Keep that there. Delete that. Put those two. Shit. I want to over there, but I only want it after I've figured out the other part. This is, this is difficult. can't make this work. I can leave two here, but breaking up the other three is quite difficult. What if I... There it is. There it is. I, I got it. Big brain. Now I can take all these back. I have my wall. Build myself over real quick. And we have this. Which, we can't look that way, but we can look this way. And now we have this concept art room. And, and images from development, 2006 to 2013. You can see it started out way too detailed. It, it, pr it looks like it started as a first-person shooter. And then it became a lot more. Shit got real weird. But again, even that is just uh, one of the side paths left, so we still have more to do. Okay, laying laying the foundation. Let me take a look. So laying the foundation can lead us to falling, failing forward. 
and to a loop that won't close, and to too many lasers. Where else can we go from here? I mean, we can get in that. But we need, like, a... We need a way to get in there, you know? Because that's that's a path down there. I, I can I can see that it falls down somewhere. We just need to know where and how to get in. If if we take all of this. Oh no, because we can't take it with us. Shit. Okay, getting in here is like not not possible from what I can see. But there's got to be a reason they have this. Okay, if I let it rebuild for a sec. And then let it go crazy again. I want in. I let me. Let me please. Okay, I have a feeling it's not gonna I really wanna get in there, but I don't know how. Okay, being an entrepreneur requires me to have a lot of blocks going in, which means if I have three blocks there, what leads to being an entrepreneur? Being a cat, logic 101 might be my best bet for getting a bunch of cubes. And again, it might not be. Considering I only I only get one cube there. Okay, being an entrepreneur means I can pull those two, bring them with me. Take these three. If I open up this whole path for myself, what do I gain? Not a whole heck of a lot, I'll be honest. And whatever I do gain, I can't bring back with me. Because I both lose I lose this path because I can't go back. Yeah, so I can't go back to that path. Then I get locked in here as well. So I need... I need a bunch for that. I only have five up to this point. Which means I don't have enough to make, like, a farm. And going forward, I can't earn any more. I need 14 total. 
How even? I can't go back. The path that I would take forward makes me sad face and makes me unable to return. My main thing is just does that does that work? Okay, so that actually... That makes one part better. Because I can get through and have two blocks, but that's still not enough to unlock this. Hold on. I have an idea, I have an idea. This... These two once I'm through, and that. That's enough to get me through this door. Getting through this door, I can push through, and I can get one more. But it deletes the one path. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's still not enough to duplicate. If I use this to open a path, that's just the don't look down room. Okay, let me at least take this back with me. Okay, if I if I now go down here Okay. Oh. Okay, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to block this so I can get through again. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. We're one off. And we deleted all our progress by accident. That was actually mad unfortunate. But we've got, like, the beginnings of a path, you know? Got a basic strat figured out. Because if I take that path, I can't come back. I'm seeing if 
I'm kind of thinking I might have missed something. But I don't know what. Because no matter what I do, I still come back here with seven. Which leaves us with not enough. Believe it or not. What else are we missing? We've got enough for all of this. We've grabbed every cube we can see, every cube we can think of, every cube currently available, and we are still unable to be an entrepreneur. So if we take this path, there is no return. Yeah, and that just loops us back around to this. Which again, doesn't do us much good. What if I want to be an entrepreneur again, Dad? try something. Now that just sends it up and doesn't let it come back down. None of this lends itself to being the path we want to take. The paths to nowhere into darkness. I jump too far. There's got to be some path here that takes us where we want to go. I know Don't Look Down leads us into taking baby steps, right? Which is that. Which leads us back to Don't Look Down. Possible paths into climbing the tower or three paths in sight. Three paths in sight can take us to a jump too far. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try something here. This is a really friggin' weird path that we're gonna try. But we want to go from strength and numbers take us anywhere. So we want to lead back to a jump too far after taking a path that gives us a bunch of resources. or something similar to it.
There's got to be something. That's just the end. I don't even know. My brain hurts. Yet again. Pink just traps me in place. There's nothing I can do here. Huh? Platform? Platform just decided to leave me without any warning. Okay, walk out here, walk around, drop in, look up at that, drop down to here, keep that, come up, end up in orange, blink. Okay, the main thing is landing in blue. I know I can look around and I know that. I know that I'll fall down that if I try to jump over there, but there's there's supposed to be some kind of path that gets me over there. I just don't know what. Or is that just straight up the path? I guess that I guess that probably is the path, eh? Yeah, again, that's just the... Uh, I think... I think I've hit the point where my brain is no longer cooperating. Because So looking, looking at what I've got, I know I can't do a jump too far. Because I... That's... That is the end. And whatever's going on, I don't have the ability to control these or move them or anything. My only thought is can I can I get blocks and go that way? No, I don't I don't think I don't think I'm going to be able to. I think no matter what I do, this okay. Ow. My only thinking was if I could Yeah, my, my, my brain is dead. So, so looking at the map, I cannot do this. I have no idea what I'm doing. For this, I, I can't figure out what or where I'm supposed to get the last block I need in order to duplicate. If I can find, if I could find one more block, I could do it. But I, I have explored every path that I think I know of. This one, there are apparently two paths branching off of it that I don't know what or where they are. Laying the foundation, I've I've tried that a couple times and I still don't know where the end of that is. Other than that, we've done everything. Um, I might I might try and do it on my off time, try and figure out what the heck I'm missing, but for right now, I've got no friggin' clue. So for now I am gonna call it for the evening. Thank you for joining uh, and chatting, uh, both you and Sabrina. And uh yeah, I'm going to I'm going to take some time to turn off my brain and let it recharge. So I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> See ya.